MotoGP 23 is just around the corner. With its release getting ever closer, Milestone have been kind enough to send us here at Racing Games a preview version of the game to check out just how the bike racer is shaping up ahead of its June launch. Now before we start, we have been given the PC build of the game and this is an early preview, so of course things may be different in the final build of the game and features may vary depending on which platform you play on. Alright, with all of that said, I'm Mark from Racing Games and here are our thoughts on the preview build of MotoGP 23. First up then, the visuals. Even in this beta, the game looks stunning. Admittedly, I did have to turn down some graphic settings to get the game to run smoothly on my <coughs> slightly older PC, but even then I was impressed by just how good the game looked on reduced settings. Once I'd managed to tweak my settings accordingly, the game also ran incredibly smoothly, even when capturing gameplay. Now things may be different on the old gen version of the game, more akin to MotoGP 22 and 21's appearance, but current gen players should look forward to crisp graphics and smooth frame rates when the game launches in June. Along with the visuals, the audio in the game is fantastic. You can almost feel the engines through the speakers, with each team's bike sounding unique. As a big fan of the roar of a powerful engine, I was almost literally blown away the first time I shot off the starting line. So we've covered sight and sound, let's talk about the gameplay. The preview build of the game limited me to just Grand Prix and time trial modes, with access also to the rider and bike customization screens. The footage you're seeing on screen right now was captured during my first playthrough, so do excuse the awful racecraft. We'll come back to the on-track experience in a bit, but first let's talk about setup. When entering a time trial, you can pick your rider and team, track, time of day and weather settings. When competing in a Grand Prix, the settings are even deeper, with the ability to choose which sessions to take part in across the race weekend. For my first attempt, I decided to just jump straight into the action and hit the track for a time trial to get to grips with the bike quite literally as it turns out. As someone new to bike races, I immediately switched to rookie difficulty for my first foray out onto the track. Picking a circuit I'm familiar with like Silverstone also helped, as the layout is the same as the F1 configuration, allowing me to focus fully on the bike. In rookie difficulty, the bike basically rides itself. You have some control over steering and throttle application, but beyond that, braking is taken care of for you, and all you have to do is not hit anything. For the first few laps this was fine, but after a while Rookie just felt a little too much like my hand was being held as I wanted to try hitting the braking zones and leaning through the corners myself. However the gap between Rookie and the next difficulty setting is vast, even adjusting the steering, throttle and brake assist individually made the bike suddenly feel unstable. Flicking the steering assist down a notch made me lose the bike on every corner entry, adjusting the throttle made me lose it on corner exit, and even taking the braking assist down by one caused the bike to go straight on at every corner. As a novice to the MotoGP series, this could just be me being more used to four wheel racing than two, but for other newcomers to the franchise this could be seriously off-putting. There is another setting where the bike follows the ideal trajectory around corners, with the middle steering assist setting supposedly designed to help align the bike to this trajectory as you enter each lean, but this just wasn't working for me. Hopefully the release version of the game will have the difficulty modes a little closer together, especially for players who don't want to just watch their bike ride itself, but also don't want to be sliding on their backsides at the back of the grid every race. I would have loved to have been able to get stuck into at least the first race of a career mode, but this wasn't available in the preview build I was given. One thing I will say though is despite me struggling to control the bike when assists were turned down, I'm very much looking forward to playing the career mode in the full version of MotoGP 23. The dopamine rush you get flying past your rivals along the pit straight is a feeling you just don't get anywhere else, besides winning a race on only your fourth attempt of course. Sure, the difficulty is a bit all over the place at times, but the longer I played, the more I found myself understanding the basic principles of MotoGP racing. Braking and throttling are very different on a bike compared to something like an F1 car, and as soon as that sunk in, I was able to start racing properly without always crashing. Well, alright, I did crash a lot, but I'm still learning, okay? Even at this stage of development, the game felt solid, looked incredible, and sounded even better. I experienced no major issues during my time playing, and this definitely felt more like an early access build rather than a preview. The menu screens are clear and easy to use, the AI, although not launch ready, are raceable, and the visuals and sounds are pretty spot on when out on the track. As someone who's a total novice when it comes to the MotoGP series, I had a blast blasting around each track. 
and I now can't wait until June when I get to do it all over again. Are you looking forward to MotoGP 23? Let us know down below and why not subscribe to the channel while you're there for all things MotoGP 23. For now though, thanks for watching. I've been Mark from Racing Games, a big thanks to Milestone for sending over the preview build of the game and we'll catch you here on the channel for another video soon.